Hello, my name is Aaron Frazier and today's date is December 19, 2010 and this is my third video diary as an Earl Warren Scholar. I have uh, just completed my first semester of law school at Cornell Law School. So uh, in this uh, video diary entry, I'll talk a little bit about how exams went and I'll talk a little bit about what I've got planned for uh, winter break and then I'll talk a little bit about uh, next semester and um, my plans for the summer of 2011. So first, exams. So I had four exams, um, two three-hour exams and two four-hour exams. My first exam was torts, uh, which, is a, which was a closed book exam. Um, I think that went pretty well. Um, I did a lot of study and that was my first exam. Um, I did my outlines and everything and I, I think the exam went pretty well. Um, again, torts is a great course and um, it's very similar to criminal law theoretically where I have some background due to mock trial and, and uh, high school and college activities with youth courts. Um, so torts was a good way to start exam season. Um, I had a great professor and I had a, um, I had a lot of fun in that class and I think I think I did pretty well on the exam so I'm looking forward to the results from that one. Um, my next exam was civil procedure. Uh, I think that one was a little bit more difficult. That one was an open book exam. Um, so that may um, may or may not have been why it was more difficult. I don't know. But civil procedure, um, again, I, th I think I did pretty well there too. I studied very hard for that one, made sure um, I organized my notes and everything so that they would be a useful tool uh, during the exam so I can look things up really quickly um, and figure out how to answer the question. Um, again, I had a great professor there. Um, civil procedure is one of the classes that will be continued into the spring term, um, although I'll get a new professor. Um, but so I'm, I'm looking forward to civil procedure part two. Um, it, it's a lot of interesting stuff. It's the, uh, ma ba basically the rules about how um, a lawsuit is to be brought, um, prosecuted, defended, and then um, the results of a lawsuit, judgments and appeals and, and all that good stuff, just the rules about how to uh, proceed with a, uh, a civil lawsuit for damages or, um, or uh, equity. Um, and my third exam was uh, con constitutional law, um, another exam, another uh, a open book exam, excuse me, open book, um, also four hours like um, Civil, civil procedure. Um, again, I had a great, great professor with constitutional law. Um, constitutional law, um, it, I don't think it was as easy as torts. Um, not to say that torts was like naturally easy, but I think um, con law, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um, it, it, it was a little bit challenging. Um, but again, you know, I, I got to, I got a lot of time in studying for the course and outlining and preparing my notes and stuff. Um, so all in all, I think con law went pretty well. And then my final um, examination of this term was in contracts, which was a closed book three hour exam. Um, there were some interesting exam procedures. The professors, um, I think I mentioned in one of my uh, last video diary entries that the professor um, is a little eccentric. Um, so he has his own special um, exam procedures. So it's a closed book. That's pretty, that's pretty normal. But you can't write for the first um, hour of the exam. So you have to spend the first hour of the exam just reading through your questions and um, planning out your answers. And then the, the next two hours where you actually get to write your, uh, your exam answers. But the thing is that there are uh, word limits for the exam answers, and that's pretty hard to do. Like when you're on an, when you're under the pressure of an exam to write a good answer and make sure it fits within the word limits. So you got to kind of um, save yourself some time at the end to go back and edit your answers. Um, so that was um, that was a little um, challenging, um, just trying to get everything within the word limits and everything. But it, as for the substance of the course, um, again, I spent a lot of time um, studying, and I think that uh, contracts went pretty well. So all in all, I I, um, I think I had a pretty good semester. 
Um, we'll see um, when grades come out. I think they come out in like the first or second week of January. Um, I mean, I'm pretty optimistic. Um, I think I worked hard and I think I performed um, pretty well on, on the exams. Um, so now for vacation, I am going uh, going home back to Rochester and I'm just going to rest, just watch some TV, play some video games, catch up with friends and family. Um, I'll be, fo I'll be uh, following up some possible summer job opportunities um, with a, um, a judge or DA's office or some law firms in Rochester. Um, that's probably the only like real work I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to spend the vacation just taking a much needed uh, break. Um, and I come back uh, to Cornell uh, January 16th, January 17th, and uh, my lawyering professor has got some um, pretty cool activities for us. Um, we're either going to go snow tubing as a class or bowling as a class when we get back in January. Then in April, um, we're probably going to go see a musical. Um, so that's some, some fun stuff to look forward to. And then also in the spring term, I am uh, taking two new classes. So I, I believe I'm continuing with um, civil procedure and contracts. And then I'm, um, there's no more torts and no more con law. And instead, I think I'm picking up criminal procedure, criminal law, um, which I'm really excited about given that that's, um, that's where my background is. And I'm also picking up property, um, which is, uh, I'm really looking forward to that too. Um, I think property is a very interesting, um, interesting topic just from my days as a philosophy major. We had some interesting discussions about property. So I'm, I'm really interested to see um, how that discussion goes from a legal framework. Um, so the summer of 2011, so yeah, so I'm looking at several um, possibilities um, at this point. I haven't made up my mind yet. I haven't completed any applications yet. So I got to do those um, over the break. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm either thinking about um, working for a judge in Rochester or uh, working for the DA's office again, or possibly um, working for uh, uh, one of the firms, one of the law firms in Rochester. Um, yeah, so all of my uh, summer activities are focused around Rochester. That is where I want to practice the law. Um, so, you know, uh, it's good to investigate those opportunities. It's a good thing that there are a lot of opportunities um, in Rochester, so I'm happy about that. Um, so all in all, yeah, so law school's going pretty well so far. I can't believe that I'm um, one-sixth done with it already. Um, yeah, so again, I just want to thank the Earl Warren Scholarship Committee for all their encouragement and support and um, in helping to make this, this opportunity come to life for me. Um, again, yeah, thank you and happy holidays.